confusion. How do you add a new employee? Let's show you. Open your web browser and you are going to go to fusion.tndagc.org and when you get there all you have to do is enter your domain username and your domain password click login right at the forefront of this login page click on e employee management and your district should be showing I don't have any selected so I'm gonna go ahead we're gonna select the first district and go to the upper left hand corner and click add new employee click on that link and all you have to do is within this form field just fill in the name of the new employee so in this case we'll go Lee M new if they happen to have a nickname or a preferred name that they go by, maybe they don't like the name their parents gave them, go ahead, put it in the preferred name field, and we will use that name in their account so that they may be more comfortable with it. And you'll notice over to the left that there are tip messages for you in case you're unfamiliar with what the field is asking for. It will give a little more or an additional description of exactly what is being asked for. So next, if the preferred name is Lee, or if the first name is correct and they do not need a preferred name, click on title. And from within here, you can type in, type in exactly what they need. Now, in this particular field, if there has been previous data that will will or should drop down such as secretary you can see as I started to type there was a populated data field that already made a suggestion that secretary is available and or secretary receptionist so you can just go ahead be best to go ahead and click on that instead of typing it out if you do type it out make a mistake actually that will enter that information in there. So just go ahead, use the drop down. You should be good. Next, whenever you do click on your office, please select the city of the office that they will be working from or their official station. Once you have that selection made, next we tab down to funding. And you can see to the left, this will be federal, state, county, a specific grant name, etc. Um, as you would start to type that information, starting to type state, I can see that that actually does have an existing field uh, form data. So we'll go ahead and click on state. Next will be status, whether they are full-time, part-time, or intern. Make that selection. If they happen to have a an extension with their phone number you could leave that but other than that you can certainly just go ahead and type in the full phone number and tab to the next field now the system tag this is the state tag number for the computer assigned to the new employee please enter that information in the field and replacing who this is if you happen to have a person who was working in the position that our new employee is going to fulfill. Um, please let us know that. That way we can go ahead and make preparations if the person is currently working. Maybe they are going to leave the office or maybe they're going to retire. We can make preparations to close uh, some portions of their account. However, you will need to actually deactivate that employee who would be leaving. So in this case, it'll give us a heads up. We can make the preparations and keep an eye out for your deactivation ticket as you enter this into Fusion. Uh, next is information or requests. If they happen to need 
a laptop or a desktop or something additional, something specific, maybe an application or a program, please let us know in the information or requests field. And you'll notice in the upper right hand corner of the form field, you do have various options for additional programs. Now you will note that the bottom two are automatically selected. This is if they do require email and justware access. If they do not require one or any of them, please unselect or uncheck the checkbox. And that way, once you click on the save button, we'll know whether to create an email account or give them just where access. And goes all same goes for the following above. If they do need email, go ahead and make sure that a checkbox is placed in the checkbox or check mark is placed in the checkbox. If they happen to need clear access, Westlaw or ties, all according to the same need. Well that wraps up the information for how to add a new employee. Thank you very much. Have a great day.